Welcome to our online service for the start of Lent. And alongside this short reflective service, there are a couple of suggestions uh, for music. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And we start with the church's understanding of the meaning of this season of Lent. Brothers and sisters in Christ, since early days, Christians have observed with great devotion the time of our Lord's passion and resurrection and prepared for this by a season of penitence and fasting. By carefully keeping these days, Christians take to heart the call to repentance and the assurance of forgiveness proclaimed in the Gospel, and so grow in faith and in devotion to our Lord. I invite you therefore, in the name of the Church, to the observance of a holy Lent, by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word. Okay. The collect and readings are those set for Ash Wednesday. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The second reading is the, from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6. Jesus said, Beware of practising your piety before others, in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your arms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room, and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. 
Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth, moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consume, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And some things for you to ponder. Thinking about that gospel reading, Matthew gives three examples from Jesus' teaching about personal piety, almsgiving, prayer and fasting, which are of course traditional disciplines in Lent. Almsgiving was not optional at the time of Jesus, just for those who had the money to spare or who were feeling generous, but it was a religious duty for all Jews. With no welfare state, the poor depended upon this charity. The hypocrites, according to Jesus, are those who do it for show, looking for the praise and admiration of others. So the question for us is, do we give money to charity as part of our Christian commitment? You might like to consider putting something extra aside each week in Lent for a charity of your choice or buy something each week for the food bank. Public prayer at the time of Jesus, attendance at which was also a regular duty for the Jews. Those who wanted to be admired did their private prayer in a public place to get attention. Jesus says, pray in a private place, because prayer is addressed to God. It's not a public spectator sport. This Lent you might like to reflect on how you pray and try and set aside a little more time each day to pray. Fasting was also part of Jewish religious life. Strict Pharisees fasted twice a week. What might you fast from this Lent? Some people give something up they like to eat or drink. Some try and fast from criticism of others, for example. Some take something up and commit to giving time to write or phone friends. What might you fast from this Lent? So what are you going to do in Lent to show your commitment to following Christ? Normally at this point in the service after the Liturgy of Penitence, we invite people to come forward and to receive on their forehead the sign of the cross in ash. Obviously we can't do that this year. But what we suggest you do is when in a moment or two we have the absolution that you make the sign of the cross on your own forehead. You might like to at some stage, either today or tomorrow, pick up some dust from the earth, soil, ordinary soil, as a reminder that from dust we come and one day we will return to dust, a reminder of our mortality But now let us call to mind our sin and the infinite mercy of God. Take time to ponder and to pause and to think of all the ways in which you fail to love God, fail to love your neighbours, fail to love yourself. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need, and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept, Accept our, our repentance, repentance, Lord, for all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbours, and for our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us. Accept, Accept our, our repentance, repentance, Lord, for our waste and pollution of your creation, and our lack of concern for those who come after us. 
Accept our repentance, Lord. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation, that, that we may show your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. As I read this prayer reminding us that God forgives all those who truly repent, I invite you to make the sign of the cross on your forehead. The Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences for the sake of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. For our prayers in this service, we have some very simple biddings. We invite you to take as long as you need. It, hopefully these biddings will be a stimulus for your own prayers. We remember and pray for those who are poor, those who have to rely on the charity of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are hungry in our world and who have no option but to fast. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who rely on our prayers and those whose prayers support us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so our final prayer of blessing. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us this Lent and always. Amen. Amen.